Hello, my name is Debbie Reynolds. They call me the Data Diva. Today I want to talk about the global impact of GDPR. GDPR is a data privacy and protection law that passed in the EU in 2018. Since then, it's been very influential in terms of how other governments are looking at data privacy, how companies are changing their business practices as a result of consumer-focused privacy laws and also uh, the way that consumers think about privacy rights. The GDPR has a few very unique features that we're seeing trickle down into different privacy laws around the world, including uh, places like Asia, um, South America, Africa, uh, and even the US. So one example of influence of GDPR has to do with the extraterritorial nature of data rights. So the GDPR introduced the idea that people's data private rights or protection rights travel where the data is. So regardless of where the data is in the world, uh, people's rights travel with the data. And we're seeing those types of things being written into laws around the world, partially because of the idea of GDPR. We all know that data flows freely around the world, that companies have data centers around the world, and a lot of times we don't know where data is. If you're looking at your email, you have no idea where your data is coming from or where it resides. So to have a law that says that your data rights survive regardless of the location is very uh, groundbreaking. Also, the GDPR has a feature in it called Privacy by Design. Privacy by Design is very unique because it is a forward-facing idea, meaning that companies that are designing programs and software having to do with, uh, with data, they have to think about privacy when they're doing this development. So this is a very forward-thinking part of the law. When we think of laws, we think of it in terms of being reactive, uh, uh, in, in terms of having a harm that has happened in some way and a law reacting to it. But in this way, the GDPR keeps itself fresh and new by saying that in the future, even for things that do not yet exist, companies need to really think about designing things around the consumer and the consumer's right to be able to get access to their data, um, be able to delete their data if they want, or to be able to do anything else they want with their data within reason. The last and probably the most interesting part of the GDPR in my mind is the idea of the right to be forgotten. The right to be forgotten is just exactly what it sounds like. Uh, consumers can request in certain circumstances for their data to be forgotten by companies. The problem with the right to be forgotten uh, for companies is that, especially uh, with apps and things on the internet, the internet is made to remember and not to forget. So companies have to completely rethink the way that they design and whether they keep data. They have to rethink the way that they identify consumers or de-identify them in some cases. And they have to be able to delete or give people's data back. This is one of the biggest business challenges that companies have, which is about deleting information, especially because historically, especially for people who have legal matters, they may have a tendency to keep more than they should because they think that a case may come up about it. But this goes counter to the idea that consumers' data should only be used for certain purposes and under a certain time frame. So I think the end of days is here in terms of how people um, or how companies keep data forever and ever. Uh, consumers will not stand for this and we see this show up in laws like things like the CCPA in California, like the uh, BIPA law in uh, the state of Illinois. Uh, we're seeing this in laws that are being developed in places like India, um, in uh, even uh, like Japan or uh, uh, Central America. So to, in a nutshell, uh, GDPR is very influential. We're still going to continue to see language from the GDPR being peppered through other laws. The idea like uh, data subject access requests or identifying someone as a processor or a uh, controller of data 
These notions stem from the GDPR and we'll see them more and more in data privacy laws in the future. Thank you.